Hi, this is Justin from Ajar Productions. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the things that I'm working on for N5 version 3.1. Let's start with the most impressive feature. Now keep in mind, this document was created entirely with InDesign, exported with N5. I didn't do any coding to the output whatsoever. You can see there is now a built-in flipbook mode. The pages curl when you go up to the corners, and they peel across when you drag them. This document has live selectable text in it, and it's actually responsive in terms of the number of pages that are shown. So if I drag the browser window down, it switches to one page mode. And then I drag it back, and it switches back to two pages. You can see it does the same thing in the iPad simulator when I change the orientation there. That page flip is the big feature that I wanted to show you today, but, but here are two smaller but highly requested features. If I right click on this image, you can see it's been used three times at three different scales. I'm just going to choose inspect so I can see the underlying code. And when we take a look at that, you can see that each one of these images points to the exact same JPEG in the output. This is a feature that will save you on file size because it will grab the source image only once. And the last page is a button. This is a different kind of button that has ever been exported from N5. This is a complex button with live text, no images, and it's got real CSS rounded corners. And you can see if I hover over it, it has a hover state. And if I hover and click, there's the click state showing, and then the animation action plays. And if I zoom in on the browser, you can see the button stays nice and crisp because this is a live text and a live rectangle. So this is a much more sophisticated button than you'd see in the previous versions of N5 where it outputted the buttons as images and it was always 72 dpi. I've had a lot of people asking about how to make high resolution buttons and there was a workaround but now you don't even have to do it, it just exports cleanly from N5. The button and the image features will automatically be added to N5 for all subscription plans. The page flip feature will be available to pro subscribers and higher. I'm working on some more cool features for version 3.1, so I hope to show you the rest of those in another video. Thanks so much for watching.